Hello, this is Ryan Farley. I'm going to show you how you can get sublogics to use in your own custom SalesLogics projects. Sublogics is a, is a simple repository and entity model for SalesLogics. You might have seen the previous videos I've shown on that. Uh, for right now, the primary distribution method for sublogics is through the NewPAC packaging system. NewPAC is, is an open source initiative from Microsoft. It's a packaging system which basically allows you to search for, find, and use custom DLLs in your own projects and Sublogics is also available through that system. If you'd like to read a little bit more about NewPAC, you can go to the NewPAC project site on CodePlex, which is newpac.codeplex.com. But for now, in order to use that, you need to install the NewPAC uh, tool into Visual Studio. To do that, you can go to the Tools menu and then to Extension Manager. Now, I already have NewPAC tools installed which is why you're seeing that there on my screen. But to, uh, to locate it, you would just go to the search box and type in new pack, and you'll find it. There will be an install button. You click it, and that's it. You now have the new pack packaging system. Um, to use it, there is a command line area you can use and also some dialogues, and we'll take a look at the dialogues. So now that I have new pack tools installed, I, I want to create a new project, and I'm going to add sublogics to that project to use. So I'm going to start a new project. I'll just do a Windows Form application. I'll call it Sublogics Tester and click OK. And now my new project is created. And now I want to add a reference to Sublogics to this project so I can use it. Now normally, without a packaging system, the way you would do that is you'd go download the DLL. You would put it somewhere, add a reference to it. Um, and this using new pack kind of removes all of that for you. You just search for it and it adds it all for you. Downloads the DLL, puts it in a location where it can be easily used in source control, and you're ready to go. So to do that, all I have to do is now is now that I have new pack tools installed, is right click on my references area and I have this new menu option called add package reference. I'm going to select that and it brings up the package reference dialog. I'm going to just search for sublogics and there it is. So when I found it I just click install it's going to download the DLL and add a reference to my project to that DLL automatically for me. So I'm going to close the dialog now and I can see sublogics is now added as a reference to my project. In addition to that if I look at where I have this project now there's a new folder called packages and in the and this is what n the new pack dialog did for me it placed in here a folder for sublogics and here's the DLL this is the DLL that's referenced in my project and then also I have the entity templates that if I want to generate my own entity model based on my custom schema I have those ready and available to use I just drop them into my project so that's all it takes. Just a right click, add package reference, and find sublogics, and you're ready to go. And doing that, you'll be able to get the newest version of sublogics and add it to your project. Uh, that that uh, sublogics package will be, keep, be kept up to date, and uh, you're, it's ready and available to use now. So feel free to get the new pack tools installed in Visual Studio and start downloading sublogics and add it into your projects. I will have other distribution methods available, but this is by far the recommended choice that I, I'm suggesting. Thanks. Hope you get to use it soon.